This is an AX5 transmission out of a 1997 Jeep TJ. There was an issue with the shifting. It seemed like you always had to double shift whenever you went from first to second gear. Um, I'm going to take it apart and we're going to do an inspection on it. So depending on how the inspection goes, it may mean there's a rebuild and there will be later lessons or later videos. So here we go. So really, to take it apart, start by taking the top boot off. And then there's this little annoying clip in the top where you have to push it and you rotate at the same time. And I really always concerned that I'm going to hurt myself when I do it. Sometimes it goes easy, sometimes it goes hard. There it is. So then, after that, the next step is to, you can pop this top off. And there's four bolts and they're all 12 millimeter. And you get them on there and you get them started. And then I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use an impact. I usually, I can, if I use an impact whenever I can to take stuff apart. I don't use an impact when I put things back together. The other thing you may want to do too is you may want to uh, come and take pictures from different angles so that you can make sure all your bolts go back into the same place they came out of because a couple of the bolts if you notice some of these are longer some of these are shorter and also even on the main housing when we get to the main housing some of them are just regular bolts while some of them are actually have threaded ends on them so you probably it's a good idea to take the pictures because the pictures sure save you grief later on take that off so the first thing i see as soon as i open this up i see that there's these two little um i think they're called reverse pins there's one on each side Oh, and I don't have the wrench, it'll be a crescent wrench. Oh, actually I can get them loose. And when you pull them out, these things are side dependent. You don't want to mix them up. There's one for the passenger side and a different one for the driver's side. I'm just actually going to pull them out and show you. When you look at them, this end is actually pushed in and this end is a springy end. And that is what they should be. This one is actually broken. It doesn't work. It should be springy and it's not. So what I'm going to do is just to make sure I don't get them mixed up and I don't lose them, I'm just going to thread them back in a little bit, but don't not have them stick out. So the next step is to remove something called the, uh, I think it's called an indent ball or detent ball. And it's actually right on the side here. So I'm going to rotate this and see if you can get the picture of it. It's actually this right, it's actually just below this bolt here, there's a little little cap that has a Torx bit on it. And I believe it's that one. It's a Torx 40. So we use the Torx 40. Pop it loose. And when I take things apart, I generally like to lay things out in the order that they come apart. And so once you pull that out, there's going to be a spring. And there's also going to be a ball like that. So lay that all together, all inside, make sure we have it so that it stays in the order that we pull it apart. So that's, that's that step. So the next step, once you have that apart, it's time to actually start focusing on the top. So I'm going to pause this for a so second. So the next thing to do is there's this bolt right here that you have to take out. That's a 12 millimeter bolt. And a lot of the pictures that, are, or a lot of the assembly diagrams I've read where I've seen, it also talks about some type of locking plate right underneath this thing. I have yet to find one that has that locking plate. But this one doesn't have it, so I don't need to worry about it. I'll take that out and we'll continue on from there. Okay, so now we're going to pull this 12 millimeter out. Pop it loose. Oh, the other thing too is before I actually even started disassembling, I made sure it was in neutral, and you can tell it's in neutral when the uh, the whole mechanism actually just rotates back and forth quite easily. You want it in neutral because I think it's a lot easier to put it back together because everything lines up once you actually pull the once once you pull this outside cover off, you'll see how all the uh, shift levers all line up, and it makes it easier for assembly and disassembly. So there's your 12 millimeter bolt. The next thing is there's a big honking hex. What size is that? I guess it's a 10. 
10 millimeter hex bolt. It's a cap that you have to pop off. Pop that off. Here's your cap. And then once you have that apart, you can actually pull your, your shift mechanism out and there's a, a rod. The rod actually holds that shift mechanism in. So I use a magnet, get the magnet in on there, and it helps me get it started so I can pull it out. And you pull it out, and then you jiggle, and out comes your shift mechanism. So just like that there. And make sure I try to make sure I keep the order of everything the same. This is the way it came out. So this is the way I want to line it back up. So when I put it back together, it all goes back together the way it came. So now I've got the cover, I've, I've got all the shift mechanism out. I am actually ready to remove this one cover. This cover has 14 millimeter bolts. And again, like I said, I took pictures of it first so that I know exactly where everything goes back together. So now I'm just gonna break all of those loose. And once I have them loose, I'll turn you back on.